Employer ownership is vital if we are to be confident that the skill system is there to meet real demand. We need to reframe the debate on skills, moving us away from the questions about what government can do to tackle skills problems, to speak about how employers can take ownership of the skills agenda. My name's Alan Robson, I'm a learning and development manager and I work for BAA Systems in Barrow in Furness. Uh, Scott Fletcher, ANS Group, also a member of the Local Enterprise Partnership. I'm Sean Taggart, UK Commissioner for Employment and Skills uh, and also Chief Executive and Owner of the Albatross Group of Companies. This enables us to actually create an environment where we dictate what our workforce needs, which is crucial to the future of the business. The IT industry reinvents itself literally every two or three years. If you go back four years or so ago, you wouldn't have heard the word cloud, but now everybody knows what cloud is. Well, that's a massive transformation in, in what IT is about. So we, we've got to develop um, courses and um, engagement with young people. It actually brings them right up, up to uh, where the technology is today um, very quickly. And the only way we can do that is if we own that agenda. It's a huge opportunity for us collectively, with our employees, with unions where they're relevant, uh, to take control of the skills agenda. and drive solutions that truly fit business need as opposed to piggybacking on the back of whatever well-intentioned government initiatives are there. It's to allow us really to be in control of skill solutions to drive the productivity of our businesses and the economy. This is truly the creation of a demand lens system. A system sufficiently responsive and sensitive to changing need provide the necessary skills for work.